Hey everybody, I'm Argolfumpf, playing Marcella Moon, Curse of the Black Cat. Let's see. Oh, ow. I'm feeling really strange. Yeah, I've got like a headache or something. Um, is the psychic guy here? No, no, I mean, we have nothing to talk to him about. So talk to you later, Lorenzo. You just sit there all day doing nothing. Ow, my head. I'm feeling really strange. I'm feeling really strange. Maybe I should visit mom or, or something. I just... Ow. Marcella. Ow, my head. Her pupils are dilated. Heart rate is a bit low. Almost seems like she's been poisoned. I'm going to order a toxicology report. Rest, sweetie. Yeah, so Marcella ha has been poisoned? And sent to the hospital? What's going on, Mom? You gave me quite the scare. How are you feeling? Fine, I guess. What happened? You passed out on the doorstep, so I took you to the hospital. Is there something wrong with me? Not that we know of. The doctor couldn't really explain it. I've been monitoring your vitals, and they're stable. You've been resting for quite a while, and you seem to be doing okay. Yeah, well, I have been feeling strange. I've been feeling strange. I've been having these weird visual distortions. On top of that, I've had the worst headache. That's why I'm worried about you, but the doctor didn't find anything wrong. I'd like to keep an eye on you to make sure you're okay. Um, and so what's with this poison stuff, Mom? She thought that, but your toxicology report came back negative. Have you been exposed to anything out of the ordinary recently? Yes. Bring me a sample of it. Okay, so that means I can leave, right? I can't stop you. But stay with me as long as you like. I'd like to keep an eye on you. I might go out. Okay, but you need to continue to drink lots of water. If you feel bad, call me right away. Yeah, Mom used to be a nurse. I guess she knows these things. So what's the weird stuff I've been exposed to? I think it's the tea. And whoa, hey, the Rally for the Arts has started. I think the Rally for the Arts opening ceremony is taking place. Okay, let's Thank check it out. You all for coming. So I had the exact same tea that Diane had, and Diane's been acting really weird lately. I, uh... Maybe she's also been feeling dizzy and weird. That would explain why she fell off the stage, um, why she accidentally wrote the wrong number on her check. Children and the arts. And why she can't remember things. I'm here to present today. Oh, I'm going to be sick. No, I must get through this. I'm a thespian. Diane, you know we can hear you, right? Unfortunately, I cannot present this $50,000 check to the Rally for the Arts Foundation. Hey, why not? Yeah, yeah, hey, why not, hey? Because the theater doesn't have the money, okay? Maybe if you and your families would come watch a show more often, it would be a different story. Your plays are terrible. That's why I don't visit them. This community doesn't appreciate all of the work I do. My usual $5,000 is more than enough. Here, somebody come take this mic back. I have to go. Boo. We don't like you anymore. I actually never liked her to begin with. Me neither! <sighs> okay, so that was sort of a disaster. Definitely a disaster. Oh, what do you think, Megan? Megan has nothing to say. Megan never has anything to say. Uh, what about you, Diane? So, uh, how are you doing? Some rally, huh? I'll bet some of the townspeople are upset about you calling them out like that. I only spoke the truth. I've held my tongue for so long, and it was only a matter of time. I don't deserve this small-town nonsense. I've won a Heisenberg, for goodness sake. So, I was in the hospital. I was in the hospital. I passed out on my mom's doorstep. That's terrible. Are you alright? Yeah, I think so. 
the doctor couldn't find anything wrong with me, so here I am. Except I still have an awful headache. Do you think it could be? What? Could it be part of the curse? No, no, no! I don't think so. I think we've both been poisoned through the tea. Maybe it's rubbing off on you. Dizziness, headache, and falling seem to be part of this particular curse's modus operandi. And frightful visions, too. Have you had any of those? Yes, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm very sorry. You should come with me to speak to Lorenzo so that we can ward the curse away from you, too. Maybe later. Don't take this lightly. Okay. You sure seem to be drinking a lot of that tea. Oh, I always drink a lot of tea. This is a special blend that's been calming my nerves lately, though. Where did you get it? From good intuition. It was complimentary with the purchase of the statue. So we're gonna follow up on that. Obviously, let's go back to good intention. Because I think the tea might be drugged. If, if Sylvia gave her the tea, then Sylvia drugged her, right? That's what it means? What was in the complimentary tea you gave Diane Fields? I think I might have had an allergic reaction to it. I didn't give her any complimentary tea. But she said you did. I'm sorry, you must be mistaken. Okay, and are... Are those free samples of chocolate? Are those free samples? Yes, would you like to try one? I've got four varieties of herbal chocolate. Herbal chocolate. Okay, let's go with the lavender chocolate. Wonderful. Enjoy the calming effects of this chocolate and give your body the rest it needs. Thanks for the information. If you need anything else, let me know. So I'm going to eat the chocolate now. Can't pass up free chocolate. Yum. And now I have an empty bag. Let me get some more chocolate. Are those free samples? Yes. Ah, uh, man. Let's go with uh, the ginseng. It All right. Got lots of chocolate. Okay. Um, um, I got distracted there. So you didn't get any uh, free tea. So you said the tea you're drinking came with the black cat statue? Yes. Why? I went down to good intuition. And the owner said the statue didn't come with any complimentary tea. Hmm. You'll have to ask my assistant about it. She brought the statue in. So can I have the, a tea sample? May I have a sample of that tea? You loved it too, did you? Sure you can have some. Though I don't want to give you the whole bag. Do you have something to put it in? Sure do. Wonderful. It's the coffee, the I mean chocolate bag. The rest of the tea is in bag. the staff kitchen down the hall. Go out this door and make a left down the hall. You can't miss it. Great. The door looks locked. It looks like the lock resets after a certain number of tries. All right, yeah. So, uh, I mean, the, the chocolate bag, that's the bag I was talking about. Okay, so this is a puzzle. You want to push the buttons to change what the various things are. And you only get so many tries. You only get so many tries. So I think the solution is two... Four, five, six, seven. Two, four, five, six, seven. And now... I've got the tea. I've got the tea. I've got the tea. I've got the tea. And hey, uh, what do you know about the tea, Megan? Was there any complimentary tea that came with the black cat statue for the theater? Yeah. This is so strange. Did you pick up the statue yourself? No, it was delivered here. So the tea was in the delivery box. Yep. Huh. Thanks. Hmm. So the tea was in the delivery box. Sylvia denies giving any of that tea. We'll, we'll, we'll ask again. Are the Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, she... <laughs> she... <laughs> she doesn't have anything to say. Uh, um, besides just... Here, have all this chocolate. Thank you. Thank you. I I'm glad you have the chocolate. But I would also like some answers to my question, Sylvia. Sylvia, Sylvia, Sylvia. Did you give the tea or not? 